Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, better known as GMS, who taught me the 144% truth. Peace and salutations unto the elect that be like the speckled birds scattered across the four corners of the wind. And um, Shalom to you, Akim, out there preaching the word, risking your lives and freedom to do so more so now than ever. And before I dive into this lesson, can we all just stop and just give all praise, glory, and honor again to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, for this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, this wise counsel. Okay, because as the scriptures say it, you know, we should have been left as, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. If the if, if the heavenly father did not leave onto us a remnant. All right. And an elect. And um, what I have here was a uh, video by one of the beloved brothers from the Vegas GMS camp. Um, and the title of his video is Bosnia War Survivor Describes SHTF, which means the you know what hit, hit the fan collapse scenario. Jacob's trouble will be worse. And uh, the uh, the elder in this video sparked me to want to do a uh, land back off of him, just going into the importance on um, knowing the fear of the Heavenly Father through his son, Yahweh Shai, because we're approaching a time unlike any time that's ever been done since man been on the planet Earth. And as pertaining to, you know, Daniel, the 12th chapter is going to be such a time doing Jacob's trouble that even a prince uh, of Michael, which is the archangel, he has to stand up for the children of thy people, which uh, Yahweh Ratzah, our Lord willing, we can grab that precept. But um, before we go ahead and uh, land back, I just want to uh, play a small portion of this video and then I'll get a few precepts and then we'll close it out. So it says, um, I am from Bosnia. Between 1992 and 1995, it was hell. For one year, I lived and survived in a city with 6,000 people without water, electricity, gasoline, medical help, civil defense, distribution service, any kind of traditional service or centralized rule. And just imagine if you live in a city and you don't have these things, you, your your chances for, for survival is going to be a lot more smaller. Correct. And uh, a precept to back up the beloved uh, brother is uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus, uh, chapter 39, right? And uh, verse 26, it says, The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, all right, and oil and clothing. These are known as the principal things of the Heavenly Father. Verse 27, all these things are for good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. And what's going to happen in that day when calamity hits and those things are taken away from you, all right? This is why we have to fear the Heavenly Father and pray, you know, that we are a part of the hopeful elect to be delivered out of these times of trouble that we're about to um, enter into. But uh, let's continue to uh, hear what the uh, elder has to say. All right. It's going to be a lot more uh, limited because, you know, in the city, we're dependent upon, you know, services already made available to us. And we, 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 we got running water, you know, got the water company that we, you know, when we pay our utility to keep the water on, we got electricity, you got to pay uh, the, 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 the light bill, the electricity bill. All right. Then we go and we get gas. And we're, we're dependent upon these uh, necessities. Medical help. Mm -hmm. And another precept that should come to mind when you get. Let's grab Deuteronomy. Because remember. When he said that we depend on that, where well, it was part of our curses that we should um, go for one of all things. Right. Uh, where is that? That's in, I believe, 40. Salakia, bear with me. Yep. 
Let me just highlight that for y'all. Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. OK, so this is part of us being subject to payments when you grab. Uh, let's grab that. <clears throat> right in the book of Baruch. Uh, what's that? Chapter three. And verse eight, it says, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers. So right now, you know, we're still in captivity. We're subject to payments. We have to pay our rent, car note, gas, electricity, all that stuff. We have to go to our oppressor. OK, um, for all of that you know that those necessities that we need but in the day of jacob's trouble all of that is going to be done away with all right because the scriptures tells you that the fashion uh, the, the fashions of this world passeth away Let's see if i can grab that right first corinthians 7 and 31 it says, and they that use the world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passeth away. Meaning what? Everything that you're doing in your daily life, don't um, don't look at this world as a means to stay upon it. In other words, it doesn't matter if you have a career. It doesn't matter if you're setting up to go here, holiday or whatever. Those things should not be on your mind. The thing that should be on your mind is to uh, hastening the day of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and to get up out of here, okay? Because everything that you see that you've been a part of, that you've taken part in this world, it's not going to mean anything when the kingdom comes, all right? So everything that we are accustomed to is best that we leave off from this world because it means nothing to us, Okay? That's why uh, Paul meant where it says use this world is not abusing. So, yeah, you might have to get up and go to work. Um, it doesn't you know, it's OK if you come up on another job with some extra cash flow, whatever the case may be. That's all good. As long as you don't put those things over the heavenly father, Yahweh through his son, Yahweh shy. All right. As not abusing it. It's all good. You got to have a balance. All right. Everything has to keep uh, keep in its proper perspective. Let's continue. But just imagine when all these things run out and just imagine when, you know, your, your emergency services is cut out. You can't call 911, the operation services down. You can't, you know, the, the ambulance ain't, ain't finna come, but it's going to be so dangerous. That's how that's how we're going to know we we in the midst of it, man. It says money soon became worthless. And that's what's happening with the petrol right now. Mm -hmm. It's becoming more and more worthless. The more they keep spending, the more they keep, uh, you know, printing out more money, the more these other nations are starting to realize the, the worthlessness of the petrol and are, and are you know, going the alter alternative route. Because these other nations uh, depend on the petrodollar. Let's grab real quick Isaiah the 13th chapter, right? And... Um, let's start at, let's get to the point. Isaiah 13 and 17, it says, behold, I will stir up the Medes, which in this case is Russia, because what is Russia doing right now? All right. They're making it to where you have to buy in rubles for gold now. So they're cat, they're casting away the petrodollar, which is the actual currency used, um, to, to, uh, complete international trade agreements. So in order for you to trade with another, uh, country you have to use the petrodollar you have to trade in u.s um dollar notes or dollar bills okay but it says here behold i will stir up the medes against them meaning who against the daughter of babylon esau edom okay which is america and which shall not regard silver and as for gold they shall not delight in it because going into what the elder said the money's not going to mean anything this is the reason why they're trying to um continue and forward their kingdom their uh their nwo their new world order as the great reset okay because the money doesn't mean nothing it's not backed by anything all right so they're going to move to a digital currency 
All right. Which is going to bring us in a time of revelations, the 13th chapter. All right. Verses 16 to 18, which is the MOTB, which we know that to be the RFID microchip. That's all I can say on that. Otherwise, the algorithm will take this video down. So let's continue. Now, especially with the recent moves made by uh, Russia with, with the ruble. Mm -hmm. If you want to uh, buy some uh, Russian gas, you got to convert to the ruble. Yep. And that's going to help take away more value from the dollar. And then he has uh, gold reserves as well that backs it. Same with the yuan. So every day the, the, the money's becoming worthless. So we're seeing the same signs, man. It says, we return to an exchange or a can of Tushonka, think Soviet spam, you could have a woman. So it was so bad that for a can of, of, of Soviet spam, you can you can get you a woman. A woman will sell her body to you for a fucking can of, 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 of a ham. So that's that's how drastic it was. And for you, so you women that are living at ease, like the scriptures say, rise up you women that are at ease. Hear my speech, you careless daughters, man. Yep, let's grab that. Isaiah, uh, what's that? Isaiah 32. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. <clears throat> Isaiah 32 and 9, it says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Why? Because you got a lot of women out here that don't care doing what they want to do as Elder Malcolm up from the GMS campus Chicago always goes into riding a cock carousel, right? Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones, all right? Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins, all right? Because think about it. <clears throat> when you lose all of those necessities, water, electricity, gas, just imagine the women, <clears throat> okay? You guys are not going to have access to any water, so you're not going to be able to wash yourselves, especially if you're on that time of the month in your cycle. Oh, man. All right. Musty, funk. OK, you're not going to have any pads. The scriptures talk about how the storehouses shall be empty. So if you're on that time of the month, what are you going to do for for pad for padding? OK, you're not going to have access to anything. So you keep, you know, coming up against the men in the Lord right now. In a day of Jacob's trouble, we're going to see all you women that's talking about, I'm independent. I don't need a man. This, this, woo, 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 this and the third. We're going to see. All right. That's why also in the same book of Isaiah. All right. <clears throat> this is going to come to pass. Isaiah 1, uh, Salaki, Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name. To take away our reproach because Isaiah 32 verses 9 through 12 is going to come to pass. You women are going to be put back in your rightful order. OK, you're going to see a, a true man in the Lord that's going to get that spiritual power. And when you're found without, what are you going to do? Who are you going to who are you going to call upon? That's why, brothers, I made the last video about don't let a woman distract your calling to an election. Sure, because even though. They're not supporting you or praising you on this side right now. Hey, when that time comes and if you are of the hopeful elect brethren, which I pray that we all are, you're going to get that praise. That that woman is going to fall into your hands and you're going to have the power to do whatever it is that you are uh, that you desire to do. So don't worry about these women on this side. On this side, so like you, you don't have to worry about any of them on this side. Because they're going to come. But, you know, <clears throat> let's get um, New Testament. Uh, what was that? First Peter 4 and 18. We'll start at 17. It says, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. OK. And if it first began at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of the most high? You see that? So judgment is going to start at the house of Israel. OK, and if in verse 18, it says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? 
You see that? It's going to be that much mass destruction and death, okay, that <clears throat> you're going to have to be stable and and you're going to have to have a sort of uh, the, the sort of mind set to be able to stand during these evil times. That's why the scripture says in Isaiah chapter 33, Salakia, Isaiah chapter 33 and um, six and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. What times? The times that were coming in Jacob's trouble and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh is his treasure. OK, and a lot of us, you know, if you haven't been diligently preparing yourself as Elder Malcolm always goes into. All right. Getting your spirit right with the most high. OK. In the day of judgment. OK. Um, it's going to be over with. The scriptures tells you, uh, you know, number them to the sword, such as to the sword, death, destruction, whatever the heavenly father has planned. If you're not going to be saved on that day, just know that he's not with you. And this is why we tell Jake's you're going to get caught up in the crossfire. The scripture says that the, the day of the Lord is, is like a thief of the night. So this is why you have to meditate um, and, and, and measure the times diligently within thyself. Second address, the ninth chapter goes into that. So that you don't be taken when these said uh, perils come and, uh, and these calamities and all of this death that's about to come. Because a lot of it, the scriptures tells you, you know, man's hearts is going to be failing them when them ICBM missiles drop. All right. You're going to have women with babies, children. They're not going to know where to go. They're going to be out there in the wilderness fending for themselves. OK. And yes, there will be a lot of ravished. OK, a lot of women will be ravished. If you don't know what ravished is, look it up. All right. I got to keep it PG or else algorithm will pick it up and, and turn my video down or turn it off. But nevertheless, OK, this is why when you get Daniel chapter 12, it says, and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, which stand it for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. OK, because it's going to be so bad that even Yahweh Shah, what did he say in, in Matthew, the 24th chapter? Right. Let's see if I can find that. It says here, and let's start at verse, we'll start at verse 21, point is at 22. It says, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor shall, uh, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be uh, saved. No, should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be uh, shortened. So the days are being shortened. That's why you see a lot of things speeding up. That's why you see, you know, the elites, they're moving in. They're going to pass and mandate this chip. They're going to reset the economy. Okay, this global reset is going to happen. All right. And what does the scripture say? When, when, it, when he shall fill his belly... OK, what does the scripture say? Job 20 and 23. It says when he is about to fill his belly, because part of filling his belly is what he's thinking that he's going to set up his NWO. He's going to enslave the masses. He's going to get rid of the children of Israel. That's a part of filling his belly. The most high shall cast a fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. OK. He shall flee from the iron weapon. The iron weapon is what? That nuclear missile. And the bow of steel shall strike him through. You see that? So part of that, <clears throat> that destruction come, all right, you're going to have two thirds that are going to get cut off as well. Zechariah the 13th chapter, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. You see that? But the third shall be left therein. That's the that's the elect started with the 144,000 
and the rest of the men, women, and children of Israel who the Lord will have mercy upon. All right, this is why Apostle Paul stated in the New Testament, Acts the 14 chapter, confirming the souls, verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. That's what it means to scarcely be saved. Because going back to Zechariah real quick, and we'll end it on here. I didn't want this to be too long. Zechariah chapter, uh, chapter 13, verse nine, and I will bring the third part through the fire. That's what it means to bring through the fire because we have to walk through the straight gate. And part of walking through that straight gate is you must be tried. Okay. And we'll refine them as silver is refined and we'll try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. So this also cuts that Christianity dogma that talks about the rapture. No, there's no such thing as rapture. You're not going to be caught up and rapture up before the uh, tribulation. We just prove that you have to go through the tribulation. So you're going to go through not having water, gasoline, electricity, iron, bread, the basic necessities going back to Sirach, the 39th chapter. All of that is going to be done away with. Now, some of us brothers will be taken care of because when you get Isaiah, the 65th chapter, what does it say? Right. We'll start at verse 11. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, Yahweh, that forget that forget my holy mountain, you two thirds that prepare a table for that troop and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore, will I number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. So a lot of Jake's, Jake is, is going to get killed out here because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil but, uh, before mine eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. But as for the elect, watch this, verse 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. So the elect is going to eat when everybody is, is going around. All right. Stealing, uh, going crazy. Right. Let's let's grab. Let's let's go to um, real quick. We'll come back to that. But let's uh, precept. Let's bounce off a second address. Um, what do I want? Let's go to chapter 16. Right. And uh, let's start at uh, yeah, let's start at verse 68. It says, for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. That goes back to um, Revelations uh, where it talks about the, um, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So a lot of us are going to end up in what they call um, internment camps or concentration camps. Um, and we all know what's going to happen in those camps. All right. You're going to have the distribution of the chip. OK, and uh, as well as other things, which I can't say on here because they'll cut the video down. Uh, but verse 69 and they that can send unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden of the foot. Why? Because going back to Isaiah chapter 30, where it says, woe unto, uh, you know, them roughly paraphrasing that go down into Egypt. Right. That acts at the he uh, help of Pharaoh, but not of my hand, because you trust in his horses and his princes. So you trust in. The U.S. government, their army and everything, because, you know, they're a very patriotic nation. They have this. They have that. So instead of putting your fear and trust into the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to be trodden and had another derision. And you're going to be taken in a snare and a trap because you're going to go down with this man. The scripture says, don't hand join hand in hand. Right. So if you're caught. OK. Taking part in this B system, it's a wrap for you. Verse 70, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord because they're going to come after us. All right. It tells you out the book of Revelations, OK, that they're they're going they're going to come after the children of Israel. 
They should be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. This is coming. And we keep telling you, all right, that keep laughing, scoffing. All right. This is what you should be worried about. You but no, you want to sit up there and worried about, you know, um, fringes and glorifying over the Passover and, and, and showing off your garments and your phylacteries and, you know, talking about the Will Smith and Jada. All right. Getting into it. Uh, you know, high priest, um, uh, Yohanna, General Yohanna, whatever he calls himself. All right. Just utterly madness, man. So like the scripture says, you should know them by the by their fruits. So at right right now, you should have a discernment knowing good and bad who are the true men in the Lord. OK, because this is what we this is the time that we're coming in. This is the time that we should be preparing ourselves. The scripture says be as pilgrims. Right. Second Ezra 16 and 40. It says, oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle. And, and those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Why? Because we're going to be in the wilderness again. You're going to have to flee. When this man comes in with a great flood, you're going to have to flee. You're going to have to move. But we know that this is why Isaiah 33 and 6 kicks in. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Why? Because we know the end game. It's already written. All right. When he when he is about to fill his belly, the most high is going to cast his wrath. Also, let's grab. All right. And I'm just going through the spirit. I had wanted to cut this off, but these precepts is just bouncing off, man. This is to edify the sheep. Isaiah 59 and 19, it says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him because his counsel is not going to stand. His devices are going to get taken. Let's grab that real quick. Job chapter five and verse 12. Right. Job chapter five, verse 12, it says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. OK, what's their enterprise, their global reset? All right. This digital currency system where it's going to be controlled by a device that will be inserted into you. Revelations, the 13th chapter. He take it the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. This is a part of Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and seven. So that's all I wanted to uh, really get into. I just wanted to quickly land back off the elders video. But uh, please subscribe. GMS Vegas sit downs. One, four, four guy. All right. And be edified until next time. Shalom.